Good morning, guys. Yesterday was my 11th anniversary in the U.S. In fact, on August 1st, 2008, I landed here. I landed in Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia, for a vacation just to visit before I headed off to college to Paris, France. And before you know it, here I am 11 years, the rest is history. So, the message I'm, I have had so many messages come to me between yesterday and now, between my last message and this one. But I'm gonna go through with this one. It's with a heavy heart that I'm del delivering this one. Let's break the curse. Ever since I've been here, I noticed something. There's a pattern. There is a curse in this country, mainly in the black African American community, where single mothers raise boys who end up looking for their mother in their partner. Let me repeat that again. They are raising boys who are looking for their mothers in their partners. So what happens here? We have this generational curse that keeps on carrying and nobody gets it fixed. The women don't get it fixed. The men either, so it's a mess. You have That's why you have children raising children, birthing and raising children. That's why you have um, women chasing men. That's why you have women taking care of men in all aspects. It is not your job in any way to take care of men emotionally, mentally, physically, and financially. Go back to the Bible. The Bible tells us that the man is supposed to love you. When a man loves you, he will do everything for you. You don't have to ask for anything. But when there's no God in it, when there's no foundation, when there's no father figure, what's going on now? Trauma is passed on to the next generation as a culture, and I don't want that anymore. It hurts me for these little kids. So those guys grow up and they're projecting happiness. They're relying on their partner to make them happy, not only to support them financially, emotionally, mentally, and physically, but to make them happy. When they're not happy, they just move on to the next female. female and, be, and they use the ratio. It's more women than men, so they get away with that. No, 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 no. We have to stop that, and we can't stop that. How do we stop that? As a single mom myself, if you're not dating somebody who can be a father figure to your kids, Please don't bring them around your kids, one. Two, bring somebody who could be a father figure to them, around them. Whether it's a coworker, whether it's a friend, whether it's somebody that you know. Now, if you don't have anybody in your entourage that could represent a father figure, go online, look up father figures, and let your kids read about them. Seriously, we have to stop that. And moms, like my love said it best, that single moms raise strong, girls but weak boys because you keep making excuses for him you know women we're naturally closer to our sons that's just human's nature like girls are naturally closer to their dad but we can't keep making excuses so this morning when i was getting my kids ready Braylon has been doing that to me i have to feed him his cereal so i was like no i'm leaving so since you don't want to eat breakfast i am ready to put your clothes on let me know whenever you are and then as soon as I made that statement, he sat down and he um, he sat down and he made he he ate all of his cereal. So guys, 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 please, please, let's stop that. And I know we always use the excuse that we are too strong. We don't need uh, we don't need therapy. But you guys do need therapy. If you're not feeling well, if you're not healing, you need to go seek help. Whether it's at church, whether it's through a therapist go see somebody talk it through because i see that these guys no matter how old they are no matter how long it's been they're still holding their grudges against their dads but if you're not impressed with how your dad raised you why don't you make the choice and the decision to become a better father and vice versa as a mom and women just know your place stop stop babying boys I'm not dating and raising you. Stop dating and being with men that you have to raise because you want to be with somebody. You don't need to be with anybody. You can watch my um, video, Shoes, Love Over Validation, about that. So guys, please, again, this is like dear to my heart because I really care about those little ones. And we got to stop the curse. We got to stop the curse so everybody can heal, so everybody can be in their place. Because when you do for a man, the role reversal comes in. He starts to see you like really, like his mom. So you can't, you can't really do for him. And he won't be a provider or a protector. So he's not attracted to you and you get tired of babying him. Nothing good comes up out, out of that. And uh, also I like, 
I would like to help others because I live by that statement. I, uh, I want to be remembered as someone whose life has been useful to humanity. That was said by um, Thomas Sankara. His last name is S-A-N-K-A-R-A. -A -A. He used to be a president of Burkina Faso. That's my country of origin. He was young. In his studies, he didn't take any money from the government. And he made them exercise every Thursday. And he stopped colonization in the sense that we didn't rely on France for our supplies. We, 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 we just relied on cotton. We are the like, number one cotton producer in the world so guys again let's break the curse let's break the curse teach your kids how to be a man you can we can't as women so find them father figures for the full hairstyle and outfit follow me on instagram at aisha for his glory don't forget to like my facebook page dress for success with aisha email me any inquiries at aisha for his glory at gmail.com uh because i'm an accountant in the notary public a fashion, a fashion stylist and a wedding official. So I'll talk to you soon, guys, because I have a lot of messages. So stay tuned. I love you. Be safe out there. Enjoy your weekend.